Before sort of give you a short uh, rundown on Nordfund, let me uh, only mention to you that both, both uh, CDC and Nordfund is a part of EDFI, the Association of European Development Finance Institutions. We are 15 altogether. Mm. And in terms of portfolio uh, and annual investment, uh, I mean, if you, if you look at the EDFI family, I mean, we're similar in size to, to IFC. Mm. So, so it, it, it's fairly significant in, in, uh, in total. I think where we differ from IFC is that we do, on average, smaller uh, deals, mm -hmm. smaller investments. We are more SME-oriented. Uh, and, uh, and also, the, the, the 15 ad fees, uh, to me, the beauty about the ad fees is that we're so diverse. Mm. We're different in size. We're different in, 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 in sort of instruments that we play. Uh, we're different in terms of geography that we, where the footprints are. So in, uh, uh, in a way, I mean, in, in, in many of the uh, poorer parts of the world, in particular Sub-Saharan Africa, mm -hmm. we are the, uh, are the substitute for lacking local uh, uh, capital markets. Mm -hmm. We come there with different skill sets and with different priorities. We sometimes compete, we sometimes uh, work together. Okay. And, and that, to me, is really the, the beauty. Mm. In terms of Northern, I mean, how do we come into to, to, to this picture? We are one of the younger uh, EDFIs set up in 1997, basically looking at CDC at that point in time as, as the big, big uh, brother or sister, I'm not sure the, the sex of it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and the mandate um, that we were given is basically to create uh, profitable businesses and thereby uh, uh, jobs and, and tax revenues for, for governments. Uh, profitable businesses with, with, uh, with local or international partners uh, operated on uh, with uh, sort of decent uh, standards in terms of uh, ESG mm -hmm. uh, and, and gradually over time hopefully take it to the IFC standards which is basically what we we're opting for but we we're willing to invest with partners and in, in existing businesses uh, which are far from uh, perfect okay. but we need to agree on how to take it forward yeah. uh, Nordfund, uh, in the present uh, strategy, we are basically an equity investor. We 80% of what we do is equity. Mm -hmm. The reason is that uh, nothing is more uh, lacking in this market than equity investors, in particular equity investors willing to, to invest in an early phase to do green fields. Mm -hmm. So we have a target of doing 20% uh, of what we do uh, as green fields and being willing to take on board more risk than many private investors uh, uh, um, to do so. In terms of sectors, we basically do renewable energy, largely hydropower. Mm -hmm. We just uh, a couple of weeks back closed a, a, a wind farm in, in Kenya and, uh, and a, a waste uh, treatment plant for, uh, where the methane is going to, to be used for, for electricity in, mm -hmm. in uh, in uh, South Africa, we joined into the big, uh, big solar plants and two big solar plants in uh, in the feed-in scheme in South Africa uh, last year. Fairly huge investment. So renewable energy is important. Mm. Then we do financial institutions, which is basically banks uh, and microfinance, largely banks. And and if there is a sort of commonality in terms of the bank that we work with. Mm -hmm. It's ba banks uh, willing to work with uh, SMEs, mm -hmm. moving down the scale in terms of the size of, 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 of loans and, uh, or, uh, or lending to, to unbanked uh, mm -hmm. parts of the population. Mm -hmm. uh, we also, uh, earlier this year, uh, closed uh, a deal. Uh, for the first time, we were able to convince uh, a few Norwegian uh, uh, investors, a couple of big financial investors on private uh, investment house to join us setting up an investment company mm -hmm. that we will manage to do banks in Africa. We convinced people that banks in Africa I I is financially uh, an attractive place to be mm -hmm. if you can build a portfolio and, uh, and, and, and take that forward. Uh, so we will significantly scale up what we do in, uh, in the banking sector over the next, uh, next few years. Mm. Thirdly, we do agri-related business, but also uh, pragmatically other, I mean, both a uh, uh, bit of uh, manufacturing and, uh, and, and some tourism, but largely agribusiness mm -hmm. uh, only in Africa. And why do we do banks and renewable energy and agri? Well, because we're convinced that if we, in, in one of these sectors, if we're able to 
to develop or grow uh, a well-operated uh, business, that is development. We don't need to justify that particular uh, investment. A, a well-operated bank in Af Africa is mm -hmm. uh, fantastic. A, a kilowatt hour is what they need. Yeah. So, or, the, or helping them develop the, the agri-potential, which is huge and, 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 uh, and obviously needs to be part of the the growth process uh, in all of these, or most of these countries, mm -hmm. then, I mean, that really explains our mandate, our development, uh, how we de uh, deliver on, uh, on, on the developmental uh, dimensions. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so that's the short story in terms of investment sort of thesis. We, uh, due to the fact that we uh, largely do equity and most of that, or more and more uh, uh, of the equity is direct investments, we believe that we need to be close to the investees. Uh, we don't believe in fly-in, fly-out investment. Yeah, I mean, doing this kind of investment, you need to be there, you need to work with the investees, you need mm -hmm. to understand the partners, you need to understand the country and the culture. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, we, on one hand, we are geographically at the present uh, uh, concentrated uh, in Eastern and Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. We don't do West Africa. There's nothing wrong with West Africa, but the size <laughs> of Northern yeah. doesn't allow us to go beyond. Uh, we basically, uh, at the present, we, we, uh, the value of the portfolio is two and a half, uh, three, uh, three billion US. Uh, we may, uh, may take on board uh, West Africa later, but for now, uh, Eastern and Southern uh, Africa. We have local offices in Nairobi, in Joburg, and in Maputo. And, and, uh, and, and let me also mention that we, we don't do expats. Mm. Uh, like, uh, we believe, I mean, even though there's a lot of challenges in hiring locally and all the different <coughs> cultures and religions and, I mean, colors or whatever we have in, in the organization, we believe that building a local, uh, local presence with people with, uh, with a long history and network in the region, uh, that pays off uh, over time. Okay. So, so, uh, so, so that's sort of the short version of, uh, of what we we're doing uh, to illustrate how we sort of pushing the borders. Uh, uh, Diana mentioned uh, South Sudan. We are also involved in South Sudan. We, we actually believe that we'll be able to build a hydropower plant in, in South Sudan, mm. which is really outside, I mean, mm. any sort of normal commercial sort of uh, logic. So uh, the way we do that is, is to um, find ways to blend uh, grants from the, from the Norwegian government. Mm. And, and, and ownership participation by the South Sudan uh, government, mm. uh, and a lot of time and resources from our side, I, I must say. Okay. But I mean, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it, it proves, at least it proves to our stakeholders that we're willing to take, uh, to take it one step beyond uh, mm. uh, what the private sector would be. Similar, I mean, two weeks back, we closed the first deal in, in Myanmar, a microfinance uh, investment in Myanmar. Mm -hmm. Again, we've been working on it for three years. We spent uh, enormous amount of time and resources to get it through the, uh, through the bureaucracy uh, and, and, and decision-making machinery in, in Myanmar. And uh, let me, I mean, Myanmar, Myanmar not being uh, Africa, but let me say we, Myanmar is probably the most challenging place in, in our present portfolio. <laughs> I mean, no place is... Uh, 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 you don't have the infrastructure in terms of uh, uh, regulations and laws, and you don't have a concept in, a, in the heads of people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. but but it proves again to our our stakeholders that that uh, we do, we're doing we're trying to do uh, and push the border uh, and do what the DFI is supposed to do. Okay, excellent. Let me just ask you one one question. I think one thing that I notice is that you, you, you really put the emphasis on the concept of being very close to your deal side, the deal generation side. Uh, I, I just wanted you to, to elaborate a little bit further in terms of what are the binding constraints that you see from your DFI initiative that are coming from the policy end, which, if addressed, could ease your work. I'm not sure. Uh, when you do yeah. a project in Myanmar, you have some constraints which are policy related. Yeah. Okay. 
some of these policy constraints are holding you back from expanding your exposure or from slowing the process sure, sure, in, sure. Yeah. in your decision yeah. making. Sure, but that's, I mean, uh, we are an investor. We mm -hmm. don't do institutional capacity building. We don't work with the government. I mean, the aid industry yeah. uh, is full of those actors. We actually, we only try to do it on the ground. But so what, what it, government it, could do to ease your work as an investor? Because when you go to a country, I mean, some of the procedures that government may have in place are probably also holding you back. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I'm saying, I mean, the way we mm -hmm. uh, understand our mandate and our role yeah. is to act as, a, as an investor. I mean, and in this regard, we yeah. would move more or less like any private investor. Okay. We accept uh, the terms and conditions decided by the government. Okay. Uh, Sometimes, I mean, in this case, it's been quite cumbersome, uh, yeah. but, but there's nothing we can do, uh, do about okay. it. We try, of course, I mean, in this particular case, I've had to do a small microfinance yep. investment. I've had meeting with the, 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 the president, mm -hmm. the uh, central bank governor, mm -hmm. the minister of finance, yep. the minister of planning, the minister, the, the, the minister of the president's uh, office. Mm -hmm. and, and they all so much supported it. Yeah. However, in the end, we were not able to get the approval in, uh, in the central bank, so we yep. had to do it without an approval. Okay. No. Want to uh, yeah, if I might pick up on that, I mean, we, we also do PE funds, uh, SME uh, PE funds, mm -hmm. but less so than, than in the past, mm -hmm. uh, partly because we have a, a good pipeline of direct investments, mm -hmm. but also uh, for the reason that, that uh, in, in most part of Af Africa you see a number of private equity f uh, funds on the ground, so yeah. they, they're actually there, mm -hmm. and they're more and more able to attract also private capital. Yeah. So when, uh, when we do a PE funds today, it will be in uh, uh, funds that sort of fill gaps in the market, where, I mean, uh, where they, I mean, they're really needed. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, I would, uh, going back to some uh, one, uh, one thing mentioned earlier, sort of the, the flex, um, that we, as a DFIs, we're more flexible than, than a fund, mm -hmm. in terms of we doing equity, I mean, uh, in terms of uh, how long we'll stay in there, there will al always be an exit uh, logic to what we do. Yeah. But we could stay in for five or ten years or, yeah. or, or beyond. And, yeah. and, uh, and I think what you see in some of these markets in Africa, you see one PE fund selling uh, their stake to another one, yeah. to a third one. Yeah. And that's, uh, that, to me, doesn't make much sense. That's an extremely expensive way to provide equity to, to, mm. to small and medium-sized uh, enterprises. Uh, making them too short-sighted, too financial oriented. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then sort of the capital that, uh, that the, it's not that PE funds are not needed, they're definitely needed, mm -hmm. but, but, but also, uh, you also see a need for equity with a longer time horizon mm -hmm. and, 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 and able to, to, um, to follow uh, the growth pattern of yeah. a particular uh, uh, investee mm -hmm. through whatever cycle they, they need. Okay. So we will be much more uh, sort of flexible in terms of how long to hold on to an investment. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.